What is the deals? What is the deals? It's your boy Emilio Gambino. Welcome to Emilio Duran's place where I talk about and display various things. So I'm in my office. At work. And I had to come on here to give y'all another video. All right? So, y'all see the thumbnail. I just read about this information today. So, Burger King and Popeyes files for bankruptcy. Right? Now, according to the article, this is not me just making it up, y'all. This is articles. So, I'm going to read it verbatim, give you my opinion on it. It says, in 2023... The fast food industry experienced significant upheaval. Three major Burger King franchise operations filed for bankruptcy, leading to closure of hundreds of stores. Also, several Popeyes franchises face financial difficulties, resulting in the closing of numerous locations. Now, I like Burger King and I like Popeyes. I think Burger King has a great burger. The Double Whopper with cheese is my all-time favorite. Now, as far as for Popeyes, I like the uh, chicken breasts and their fries. Real good. Real good. And um, it's a shame, right? But... um. A lot of fast food places are closing down. And I think because of the fact that prices are increasing and a lot of people are not making any money to buy this fast food. That's what I think. But let's continue reading. So it says um, the noble two major Burger King franchises, which I... Does Burger King own Popeyes or does Popeyes own Burger King? I don't know. Um, but they filed for bankruptcy due to declines in revenue and traffic. Also this week, Popeyes franchise Premier Cajun Kings became the latest operator under the restaurant's brand's international umbrella to declare bankruptcy. The fast food landscape is ever-changing and even iconic chains like Burger King and Popeyes are not immune to economic challenges. So like I said, people, there's not a lot of people making a lot of money. And inflation is going up. So, for example, if you bought a double Whopper with cheese and fries, large, Maybe back in the day was what, five or six? I think now it's like what, eight or nine? So that plays. And then a lot of people are not making as much money as they used to. Right? So it says, um, let's hope they find a way to bounce back into serving their delicious um, food. So let's see if I can find another article here see what they say uh, but it's crazy so oh wow it says even Bojangles um, Bojangles chains are closing after filing for chapter 11 as well wow see so y'all think I'm not playing it's right there y'all see it See, so even Bojangles is filed for uh, Chapter 11. Right. So it says facing a series of economic challenges that have led to significant shifts and closures. Highlighting the nature of the business amid current global financial pressures. 
the recent filings for Chapter 11 bankruptcy by several franchise operators underscore the harsh realities of operating within this sector. So, um, yeah, I didn't even know about Bojangles closing down. So what this is, is like they're not shutting down completely. Like it's not going to be, you know, like there's not oh, all the Burger Kings, all the. No, it's just that they're closing down a couple of the stores around the country due to the economic shift that's going on right now. So when they probably go over their budget year to year, they probably saying like, dang, we're not making um, as much money as we did back in the early 2000s compared to now. You see what I'm saying? So like maybe back in the 2000s, they were up like 5%, right? During that time. Now they noticed these last couple of years in the 2020s, because what we're at four years in, Right. They probably seen like two percent. So you think about it, five percent from 2000 to like 2010. Right. 2010 to 2020, you have four percent. That's not bad. But then from 2020 to 2024, yeah, like two percent. So we've been gradually losing money these last 20 years. We need to close down some of these stores so we can save the face See what I'm saying? So instead of having a thousand Burger Kings, we'll just have 500. So that's what they're doing. And so with the chapter 11, hopefully that will help them out. Right. But it's crazy. See, it says it right here. It says. um, So. Burger King franchise underscored the severity of the situation. So it says 1,022 Burger King and 60 Popeye's restaurants represented a significant portion of RBI's franchise operations, hinting at the death of the crisis within the fast food giant empire. Right. So, you know, um, they're coming to an end. A lot of the stores, um, they'll still be around, but. <clears throat> just won't be a lot of them like for right here even this one right here crystals all right see the picture so y'all know what i'm looking at see that even crystals so i live in the savannah area there used to be a crystals in hinesville there was a crystals in savannah on abercorn street both those crystals are shut down it's only one crystals now. So it went from three to one. That's what I'm saying. So it's all about the cost to have all these franchises open, right? Food, pay your people, equipment, property tax. Um, loss the logistics behind it so I understand all I can say is hopefully they'll be around for another 20-30 years because I do enjoy every now and then a nice crystal sandwich um, some good Popeye's chicken <clears throat> and I haven't had that in a while and Burger King, the Whopper, the Double Whopper, and um, even the spicy chicken sandwich, very good. So, bad news. Um, but how do y'all feel about it? I mean, which restaurant do uh, y'all like? And um, hopefully they all don't completely disappear, right? So, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. Um, I just wanted to come on here and wanted to talk about it and you could give your comment about it and it's Friday. Hope everybody's having a good Friday. The weekend is coming. Be safe. Right. I'm being productive. I'm in my office. 
Ah, ja.